Okay, good morning. That was uh, a good sleep. And uh, I'm glad I stayed over because uh, it is very misty here in Bloemfontein. <clears throat> and um, uh, we're now going to continue our journey from Bloemfontein to uh, Nopuit in the middle of the Free State. Um, so uh, the plan is, uh, was to charge at Colesburg, but I found that there is a charger at Gharip Dam. Okay, which is about 181 kilometers from here. Uh, Colesburg is about 202 kilometers from, from Bloemfontein, from uh, the um, casino that, uh, that I charged at. So the car is full. Well, it's on 98% because I drove from the casino to the guest house. Uh, the car's on 98%, 341 kilometers of range. So I have no doubt we will make Colesburg. But I've never been to the charger at Kharip Dam, so I'm going to go to the charger at Kharip Dam and uh, charge there and see, see what that's about. So uh, 181 kilometers to get there, 2 hours 12 minutes apparently according to BMW's uh, GPS. Now, I found this charger on BMW's charge station list, you know, and I said at the beginning that I couldn't find... Um, uh, Fentersburg charging station uh, um, on the charge list, or, uh, or was it um, uh, more of the south? I'm pretty sure it was there, um, but what I found was that the name of the charge station on BMW's list versus the name of the charge station on grid cars list was different. And I think that's the confusion. It's uh, it's not the fact that it's not in the BMW list. It's just that the name is different. So, so you know, maybe somebody can sort out the naming convention, you know. Uh, at Autotrader, I find that uh, naming conventions around cars, uh, uh, dealership names, anything, you know, I suppose that's why we have nicknames as human beings. So let's get going. This is an awesome sound. Listen to it again. BMW's really got it right. I, I, I love that sound. It's just, it's the, it's the best EV sound I've ever heard. It's going in reverse. Now, what I'm doing is I'm driving the car in its in efficient mode. Um, I'm going to drive the car um, to Kharip Dam in normal mode. So wh whatever the car decides, it's, um, it's in as I've started it up. Um, actually, the display is better than the efficient mode. The efficient mode display seems a little bit limited. So um, let's get out of here. We are... 76 kilometers away from Kharib Dam, 53 minutes to go, but uh, I need a comfort break and I have to stop before we get to Kharib Dam for that comfort break. Um, so if I go into the, to the nav, I just touch the screen and uh, there's a little menu that comes up on the right hand side called suggestions. So I go to suggestions and uh, it says charging stop which uh, you know, brings up a list of charging stations. Don't need that because we know we're going to go to Kharib Dam. Um, uh, but places to stop with a little coffee cup next to it. And that's perfect. So I'm going to hit that. And uh, it, it suggests by uh, distance. And uh, there's a BP on the N1, 1.8 kilometers from here. Um, and then there's an engine 25 kilometers from here. So I don't think I'm going to wait 25 kilometers. So I'm going to be stopping at this BP in 1.4 kilometers time. But, um, while we're talking, um, let me tell you about the um, inductive charging that uh, is in this BMW iX, uh, which is very cool technology. Um, you know, you literally put your phone um, in the tray at the bottom here. It's only really got a place for one phone. And then the car warns you, as you put your phone in it and starts charging, the car warns you to take any electronic cards away from the area because I'm assuming it'll, it'll mess up the mag, mag strips. You know, when I first climbed in this car, I thought, there's too many buttons. This, the, the menus are difficult. It, uh, um, it, was, it was really... That's the nerve. Um, it was really like a little bit overwhelming in terms of, um, you know, just the, 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 the sheer number of, of features in the car. You know, having spent now uh, this entire road trip so far with the car and, you know, playing with its buttons. The nice thing about these cars is when you want to overtake a truck, there is way 
weigh enough power um, to do it very, very quickly. You've got to really be careful you don't go to over the speed limits. And I've, I've set the cruise control to 120 k's an hour. But, uh, but the inductive charging on the, um, on the pad at the bottom is really nifty. And then they've got two USB-C ports um, at the bottom as well, which you can you know, charge another two devices in. Um, and then uh, what I'm assuming is, uh, is a traditional cigarette port. But I see it doesn't have a cigarette lighter anymore. It's just got a cover, um, which is cool. Uh, the, the, the traditional 12 volt port is uh, right in front of those two USB-C's. So um, it's really cool inductive charging. Comfort break stop time. Um, let's, go, let's go see. Love.